battles. Some find a place in the history of time, yet most go unnoticed in everyday lives. We at an actress Lady Shiram College for Women make every battle count. Six projects, 101 entrepreneurs, 13 sustainable development goals, 13.8 million in revenue and the legacy continues. Our first project realizes the unfortunate environmental truth. Would you drink this water every day? No, you'd definitely filter it. Yet, we breathe 11,000 litres of deadly air every day. As we finish this presentation, 160 people would choke to death from air pollution. Poison in the lungs, death in the air and ignorance in our minds. Identifying greenery as the only cure to end this crisis, we set out on a mission with the pioneers of greenery, the nursery workers of India. In 2017, we conducted a needs assessment across 60 plus nurseries in Delhi. We found that for 80% of the nurseries, profitability was hindered due to irregular demand, stiff competition and plant spoilage. Meet Lakshmi, a nursery worker. Her name signifies the goddess of wealth in Hindu mythology, yet she sustains her family of six with just Rs 150 per day. For workers like Lakshmi, we wanted to build a future of prosperity, dignity and independence. Hence, we launched Project Uthan. Uthan is our sustainable solution to these environmental and social problems. From vertical gardening last year, we have transformed into a leading horticultural business, adding three new verticals, landscaping, advanced air purifiers, artisanal products. In collaboration with IFCO Kisan, we designed capacity building modules for our community, imparting seven plus advanced horticultural trainings. In just three years, Uthan has secured 21 collaborations and 107 installations. With an increasing clientele in government, private and residential sectors, our year-on-year -year revenue growth has reached a phenomenal 66%. This year, Uthan embarked on a journey of digitalization. By incorporating advanced technology, we transformed the nurseries from their roots holding the key to real impact. We expanded e-commerce listings on Uthan's website to provide a digital platform to nursery workers, household gardeners and potters across India. From just two nurseries, Uthan now directly empowers eight nurseries across four states and supports 21 nurseries in six states via website partnership. QR codes were installed and two tempos were purchased, reducing operational logistics. Despite exemplary growth and increasing demand, plant mortality threatened nursery communities. Hence, with our research partners at Shield Biotech, we piloted a greenhouse technology at Icarpusa, decreasing plant mortality by 85%. In the coming year, we aim to replicate smaller greenhouses, reshaping nursery dynamics in India. Exploring possibilities, we went further ahead in combining nature with technology. We recognized India's need for affordable air purifiers and collaborated with Urban Air Labs as technical partners to launch an innovative bio air purifier, You Breathe. It's unique, it's affordable, and it's definitely the future. Using biofiltering technology, the pollutants are channelized to the roots to amplify air purification. HEPA filters are outsourced and product assembly is done by our community. Since its inception, Uthan has generated a total revenue of 68.7 lakhs. 42.9 lakhs just this year. 45% goes to our community, increasing the incomes of 14 entrepreneurs by 180% and 141 nursery workers by 167%. We have impacted 1,300 lives directly and 48,500 lives indirectly. 
created 44,000 square feet of greenery, eliminated 4,200 kg of carbon dioxide, and recycled 123 tons of plastic waste. With expansion into wholesale supply, next year we aim to have a potential revenue growth of 71%, majorly invested in innovation. Aiming for sustainability in two years, we have signed a permanent contract with Indian Nurserymen Association, India's largest non-profit organization for nursery workers. Their role will ensure growth and inspection of Uthan even after our exit. <laughs> Like Lakshmi, Mukesh, Rani, Raees and 10 more now walk with a lofty gait, wider smiles and vision in their eyes. They have found their Uthan. Our next project celebrates victories won in unity. As we speak, amidst the pandemic, we witness worldwide unity in finding a vaccine to fight against a life-threatening disease. But what if we told you that there is a problem taking one life every 40 seconds? What if we told you that it faces a staggering 90% treatment gap? What if we told you that it has a cure but has been ignored? People have lost their lives to this. Some you know and millions you don't. This problem is mental illness. According to WHO, 50% of mental health problems are established by the age of 14 and 75% by 24. To understand the reasons, we conducted two detailed needs assessments with Wimhans, India's premier mental health institute. In 20 schools of Delhi, we found that 76% of adolescents reported emotional distress, yet 93% schools lacked mental health counsellors. In another study of 1400 plus young adults, 68% did not seek treatment despite showing symptoms of mental illness. In August 2019, with the courage to give mental health the voice it deserves, we launched Project Rouhani. We started distinct verticals for the two most at-risk age groups, adolescents and young adults. Rouhani built a team of nine ambitious psychologists and after months of research, we designed our first solution, a mental wellness program for schools revolutionizing adolescent mental health. We conceptualized India's first emotional lab, a nurturing room dedicated for mental health, which is a home to several activities spread over a period of six months. Psychoeducative lessons, weekly peer circles, bi-monthly sensitization training for teachers, parents and support staff, individual therapy accessible to the adolescent at all times, hope leader training where two students per classroom are trained in peer counselling. Our program costs rupees 2 lakhs per school which comes to a mere rupees 33 per student per month. 70% of program fees from each school is income for our psychologists. 12% is logistical cost and 18% are profits dedicated to awareness for underprivileged communities. Rouhani implemented the pilot in one private school and scaled up with two Delhi government schools, impacting 3,500 plus students and activating ripple effects for generations to come. Our hope leader, Riya's experience, is one of Rouhani's countless stories of change. Our outcome assessment revealed astounding results. 88% students found psychoeducative classes helpful. 81% could better regulate their emotions and 75% felt supported. Our long-term outcomes resulted in improved presenteeism, higher attention spans and reduced bullying cases. With mental illness cases increasing in the lockdown, we digitally transformed our model to fit the new normal. 
we partnered with six schools offering our services to 1500 plus adolescents and also won the unlimited india incubation grant for our efforts ruhani second innovative solution is experiential workshops for young adults focused on preventing severe mental illnesses Our psychologists train groups of 25 participants in self-help techniques at an affordable rate of rupees 150 per person. We have conducted 116 workshops, 94 just during COVID, impacting 2900 plus lives globally. In the collaborative spirit of Enactus, we amplified our global impact by partnering with three international Enactus teams. Project Rohani generated a total revenue of rupees 10 lakh 35000 increasing each of our nine psychologists income by an average of rupees 95000 we have directly impacted 18600 lives and 37000 plus indirectly all of this in just one year in the coming year rohani's two step approach for scalability aims to cover 20 plus schools in 3 states increasing revenue by 300% and creating employment for 25 plus underprivileged youth in operational roles we aim to create a network of 30 plus psychologists acting as entrepreneurial leaders driving our sustainable business to positively impact over 1 lakh lives Ruhani is the future of mental health services in India envisioning a world where mental health discussions find a way in daily conversations lunch breaks and sunday afternoons when the world grieves silently ruhani roars to fight the unseen battles for the spirit of inactives to understand empower and heal millions of people and witness this victory of not just the teams but the lives we touch so that one day we, we all win, win.